Well, well, well. How the turntables. Look, fool me once, strike one. Fool me twice, strike three. Okay, I know you're all thinking, who is this crazy gringo and what is he talking about? Well, I'm not crazy. Maybe I'm crazy in love with asking you trivia cues. Did you get the memo? It's bears, bucks, and Battlestar Galaskin ya on office theme night, part the boss mode, baby. <laughs> Studies have shown that more information is passed through water cooler, water cooler gossip than through official memos. Well, I hope you don't bring your own water to work because the gossip is last week's office trivia was too easy. You wanted more. And you wanted it harder. That's what she said. So we're running it back. And this one's for the serious dunderheads. Hold on to your undies. We're handing out some dundies. It could be threat level win night for you tonight on HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. I'm your friend first and your host second. The Shroot with the Loot, Holly Stacks, Robert New York, Spam the Chat Beasley, Big HQNA. Michael Scott Rogowski, live from the greatest city on earth, the city that never sleeps, Scranton, Pennsylvania. You've got a lot to learn about this town, sweetie. With over a half a million of Scott's tots live in the game right now, including Marissa, Kyle, Jay, and Eric all playing together, the High Rollers, Eric Leon, Michael Komen, Dottie Kemper, the crew at Sidelines in Salem, Jen and her wife Cheyenne, nice Meredith costume, Mazel talk to Paula and Lisa on their marriage. Love wins and happy birthday to Debbie Gall. Also, shout out to It's a Thing, who are hosting an exhibition with Mr. Brainwash this weekend in New York City to raise awareness for head and neck cancer. Good on you. Tonight, you're going to be cruising for a quizzing for not 12, but 15 questions. I am now your cruise director. And my name is Captain Quizzen. If you successfully complete your performance review, getting all 15 questions ergonomically correct, beating the boss, then I'm taking you to Benny Hanna's. Oh, well, no, okay. But I'll give you money and you can take yourself. Tonight's winners will be splitting 5,000 Daryls, 5,000 Dwights, 5,000 Dunder Dollars. Think of all the teapots you could turn to neti pots with that kind of cash. Or maybe buy yourself a plasma TV. If you get a question wrong, and you have an extra life, well, then you're in luck, Buck, because that'll keep you in the game. Don't have any extra lives? You should have invited your friends with your code or played five days in a row. Or if you find yourself completely depleted right now, you can purchase an extra life and use it in tonight's game. Yeah, they can only be used once per game, not on the final question. I hope you've watched as much Office as Michael Scott watches reality dating shows. Like a hawk, this quiz is not to be truffled with. But you're going to be afraid of how much you love tonight's show. Because not only is it all about The Office, but I have an employee from The Office here with me tonight. I, you'll be meeting her soon. In the meantime, let's get this started ASAP as possible. What do you say we, let, we get down to the nitty gritty and get this Office show beast mode on the road? Cumero, numero. Uno, what is the subtitle of the documentary set at the office? An American workplace, modern friendship, or business lessons? Another shout out to our very own Alan Burke, making my paper mache head. After all those years filming, the best title they could come up with was An American Workplace? Yeah. Bonus fact, Jack, when the American office aired in England, it was listed as The Office in American Workplace. And 511, 896 of you are working for Q2. The rest of you packing up early, heading straight to the beet farm. We lost 50,000 on Q1. Yes, this is going to be a harder quiz tonight, folks. Q2, what does Pam say to camera after agreeing to go out with Jim in the season three finale? I love this job. I'm dating Dwight. Or what was the question? It took a few seasons, and you knew it was destined to happen, but it was still surprising to Pam when Jim interrupts her on camera interview to ask her out. What was the question? No, really, what, what, was, what was the question? I, I forget. 420,000, 300 did not. You know the answer. Your questioning continues. But first, let me tell you about Sunday night, folks. This Sunday, we're going back to Quizney World. Yes, the magical world of Quizney. We're giving out 25,000 to 100 winners. It's the Disney 100, 100 or fewer. 
We did it last week. You loved it. We're doing it again. Guaranteed payout of at least $250. Last week, it was over $400. All Disney. So come back for that. But right now, we're in the office state of mind. Q3, which character mainly goes by their middle name at the office? Aaron Hannon, Kevin Malone, or Oscar Martinez? Now, if you arrive at a new office, you have the same name as someone who's already there, and you're really, really nice. Maybe you'll go, maybe you'll go by your middle name, as Kelly Aaron Hannon did when she showed up in season five, because Kelly Kapoor was there first. 290,265 of you getting this one right. 130,000. Like working at Taco Bell Express to Taco Bell, you just you just couldn't keep up tonight. But but can you keep up with with the show when it gets better right now with a guest of mine, yours and mine, your favorite, my favorite. She's here, Ellie Kemper. Erin Hannon is actually here. Erin, Ellie, Erin. What do I call you, Ellie? Ellie, Aaron, I'm sorry. Ellie, no, but you you're can, yeah, but you're no. from the TV show. The Where office. I act on there. But you're not really? No, my real name is Ellie. Oh. My middle name on the show was Kelly. Oh. And here we are now. Here we are now? Yeah. We did it. No, no, my first name was Kelly. I already got one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> my middle name was Aaron. That was my first question. How good are you with office trivia? I'm a little nervous right now. You're because the office was a while ago. Yeah. My memory is very mushy. I hope that I, I mean, I'm not playing, but... My office. But your mom's playing. My mom's playing. Your Daddy Kemper. Mary we shouted her out. You, that was that just made her day. Mm -hmm. Thank Mary one two four. She's out there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 throw her an extra life yeah. or two. Uh, Ellie. Yeah. The office. It's been a while. Yeah. But you're still getting people approaching all the time, right? The office has found almost a second life among um the younger set because they're discovering it now. Reruns. On Netflix, Crazy. and they were like two years old when it was yeah. on originally. So it's very cool. Now they know you as Kimmy Schmidt, yeah. but you were on The Office first, yeah. and now you're on HQ. Yes, Ellie, it doesn't get better than this. No, it doesn't. I'm so excited. Do to you want to help me with this quiz and read Q4? Yeah. About the show you were on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here okay. It is. Here it is. Where do the office mates often get drinks after work? Is it the Bog, or Richards, or Ale Marys? Oh, did you ever get invited here? Um, I got invited there occasionally. Yeah. Um, Michael's always overjoyed when he, you know, finally gets any invite anywhere. Gets invite anywhere. Yes. He finally got invited to hang out with the regular gang at the regular watering spot. Yep. Let's see it. Michael. Four Richards. Yeah, that sounds good. Four Richards. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. And it sounds good for the 270,346 who answered that correctly. How about that? That's not bad. 270,000 people are four questions through the hardest office trivia quiz ever. In the history of office quizzes. And you're doing it with Ellie. Yep. Slash Aaron. It's confusing. Yeah. We're going to have you back in a bit. Okay. we got more stuff, though. You so I should go. About? Yeah, we'll leave you for now. Well, I'll see you. See yourself okay. out. Okay. How about that? Q5. Jim and Pam's daughter shares a name with who? An old co-worker, a place of conception, or Pam's grandma. Oh the suit's getting heavy. Now, their son, Philip, is named for Pam's grandpa. So it only makes sense that Cecilia C.C. Marie Halpert is named for Pam and Jim's grandmothers, Cecilia and Marie. They apparently chose not to name her for Pam's tough grandma, Sylvia. 243,834. Maybe you're going to name... Your son after this, after HQ, or daughter, I don't know. It could work for both. Q6, what was not one of the room themes at Dwight's Bed and Breakfast? Irrigation, nighttime, or obedience? Over a half a million started. We got about half that now, 243,000 left. In season four, Jim and Pam had the opportunity to enjoy the bed and breakfast at Dwight's agro-tourism farm, and were fairly surprised to find they had a choice of three different things. things. America? Irrigation and nighttime. Irrigation. America. America. But no obedience. 159,032 have clearly stayed at this B&B, leaving five stars. Getting Q7. I'm impressed. Q7. When the office gang goes to trivia night, which of these is the name of a competing team? Urethra Franklin, Trivia Newton John, or Ladies Gaga? Meta question here. Question about trivia night on Office Trivia Night. This was Andy's idea, all right? And a lot of good team names were thrown around that night. Two broke dorks, 
Lorenzo Trivia, Joey Trivia. Einsteins have eight points. Wow! Ladies Gaga have five points. Yeah. And ladies Gaga. Gaga. Goo goo. Woo ee. Brutal. Q7. Savish. Losing over 100,000 of you on that one. 56,324. Well, you're Beyonce. Always. You're still in this to win this. Who's seven for seven so far, huh? Who's using extra life? Who doesn't have an extra life? Hasn't used one yet and wants one? Remember, you can buy one now and use it now in the same quiz. $5,000 prize for 56,324 of you. Hey, Ellie, you want to come back here yeah. and, and maybe give some give a note of, of, of comfort to the 100,000 who just got out of, Guys, of the quiz there? that's okay. The shows remain. You can always have the shows as a comfort, even though you lost. That's right. You always have The Office to watch. You're not going to want to watch this again. No. But you can definitely watch The Office again. Go back to And maybe office. when you're done rewatching The Office for the 17th time, you can pick up Ellie's new book. Like, I'm just picking up right now. Look at this. <gasps> it's called My Squirrel Days, guys. It's super funny. Have a read. I Thank read the Soul Scott. Cycles essay. It's That's a book of so essays. Nice of you. Super you. funny. Bike 11. Bike forever. Bike. Yes. Do what it takes to get that bike. Are you impressed? You I knew that. It. I'm going to do We should do a trivia about that a book. A Soul Cycle book. So, oh, yeah. About your book. About, well, I'll do that next week. Next week. Thank you. You'll come Scott. back next week? Come Will you come back at the end of the quiz? I'll come back. At the okay, end of the quiz. we'll see at the end of the quiz. Go. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> She's so good at that. Q8. After <laughs> buying them from Holly, Michael tears up tickets to what concert? Bruce Springsteen, you two are counting crows. Michael, in the season five premiere, Holly was trying to tell you that she wanted to go to the concert with you. But Mike wasn't exactly picking up what she was putting down. And in a patent mix of confusion and jealousy, Michael tore up the Counting Crows tickets. Ah, Counting Crows. And I'm counting another slightly savage, savage, brutal Q8. Not quite. The savage meter didn't go all the way. But 48,000 are out. 26,576 are. Ha, 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 ha. Stay alive. Stay alive. For Q9, which of these is an alias Dwight uses when he angrily threatens David Wallace over the phone? Michael Scotch, Michael Scarn, or D-Money? Let this be a lesson to you, David Wallace. If you cancel Michael's 50th year work anniversary, you're going to get a call from Dwight, a.k.a. Michael Scotch, that your son has been kidnapped. He hasn't, though. Scarn is Michael's alter ego and threat level midnight, but 24,063 of you knew that one. Look, I don't come up with this stuff. I just forwarded it along. And we're going to Q10. Which of these is a real name of one of Angela's cats? Hardy, Colonel Meow, or Philip? Cat lady, cat lady, bring me a cat. Find me a fine. Cat me a cat. Angela has a few names she likes. We know she likes Philip because she named her son Philip. But she named one of her cats Philip first. Philip and Philip. 13,647 filling up on their office trivia tonight. Shout out to the rest. Of Angela's family, Comstock Bandit, Ember Lumpy, Crinkle Puss, and Pollock Baggins. Hmm, that question had an oaky afterbirth. We're going to Q11. Which film does not get co opted as a story of grief in Michael's Grief Counseling Seminar? Million Dollar Baby, Terms of Endearment, or The Lion King? In season three, we're going back to season three, and this one Michael tries to lead a serious grief workshop where his co workers talk about their hardships, which they refuse to do until they realize they could just use movie plots in their place, like The Lion King and Million Dollar Baby. But hoo No terms of endearment. And hoo is from Sensible Woman. 9,812. I'm going to give you a term of endearment. You're my number one HQDs tonight. You're surviving all the way to Q12. Normally the final question, not tonight. We extended it to 15. So you got 12, 13, 14. Four questions to go. Here it is, Q12. Which character dared to utter that's what she said in a season after Michael left for Colorado? Robert California, Dwight, or Creed? Season nine for this one. The final season, episode five. Andy's acapella group, Here Comes Treble, is doing their thing. And Clark, Clark loves it. Where's the band? Because there's no way you guys are making this magic with just your mouths. But it's Creed who can't resist that zinger. And I'll call a Savage question on Q12. Yeah, we're doing it. Savagery striking late tonight. 
We lost 7,000 plus down to 2,780. That's what she paid. You could, that's what he paid. That's what I could pay you. See, it reads better on paper. Paid, said. Doesn't rhyme. Q13. What does Oscar say in Spanish during his roast of Michael? Michael gives him ulcers. Michael deserves exile. Or Michael is not a human. Yeah. Starting to get hard. That's what she said. If you want to win this game, you better know what it was that Oscar said in his iconic roast of Michael. Let's go to the video. Okay, that was super fast. Let me slow it down for you. Miras una ulcera cada vez que me despierto. Or, you give me ulcers every time I wake up. Para ti, para ti. And 2,368. It's not a pregunta salvaje for you. You got this right. You're at the penultimate question. Dios mío. Q14, which of these was not a topping on Michael's pretzel? Sprinkles, gummy bears, or marshmallows? Ellie, would you get this one right? No? She's still here, folks. She's playing. And she's, well, she got out on Q3. The one about her. She got out on the one about her. Pretzel day, guys. Pretzel day. Stanley was first in line, of course. But Michael got all the toppings, including two kinds of chocolate, plus fudge, plus cotton candy bits, and sprinkles, and marshmallows, but gummy bears were not on the table that day. Not an option. 1,926 players remaining. Dunderheads. Dirty Deeds, Dunder Jeep. You've made it all the way to Q15. You cannot use your final, your extra life here. It is the final question. It all boils down to this, $5,000 is going to be split amongst our winners who answer this correctly on our second and probably final office show. You can't keep doing this. Q15. There are other TV shows to do. Q15. Final question. What was the final line of Jim's wedding toast to Pam? To the office? To family? Or to waiting? Uh, not to life. No l'chaim. That's what I would have said. In season six, Jim and Pam finally tied the knot at Niagara Falls. But Jim's big speech, of course, goes off the rails when her pregnancy is revealed and Michael makes it awkward. But the point of Jim's speech was how important one thing was to their whole relationship. Jim. Two waiting. Waiting. Okay. Two waiting. Waiting. And to winning. We have 1,896, who clearly, that was way too easy for. Congratulations! You won HQ! Office night! Webster's Dictionary defines winning as the fusing of two metals with a hot torch. And 1,896, you have defined winner tonight, splitting 5K, winning $2.64, which is like 8,000% more than the 14 cents people won last week. I'm not good at math, but that sounds about right. Congratulations, you are true dunderheads. You probably deserve to work there at this point. KL Jackalope, Haley Ann One, Shellhead, a Caldwell 72, LB Bolden, Flying Fan, oh, so many more of you. What are you gonna do with the money, guys? Are you gonna, are you gonna buy two tickets to paradise? Are you gonna buy a George Foreman grill? Don't put it by your bed. Maybe, maybe get a mega desk. Maybe get a lair. Rent a lair for a couple months. It's closing time, folks. Thank you for playing. Thank you, Ellie. Kemper, get back get over back here. Get back up here. Get, say hi to all those fine people who just won. Congratulations, winners. You are winners. Do you have any 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 words of advice for the people who didn't win, maybe? I think just go after your dreams. Keep watching The Office. Study it. And yeah. come back next time. Keep watching The Office and Commissioner. Yeah. Yeah. And all the other stuff. Yeah. All in the book and everything. Book, whatever, yeah. Look, I'm, I had a great time. You're amazing. I had a great time. You're amazing. I'm Michael Scott Rogowski signing off, reminding you to make friends first, make sales second, make love third. In no particular order.
meet you at Port Richards. I'll see you there. Let's do it. I'll see you there too. Bye. <laughs>